And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Go, 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 go. All right, hello, and welcome to the Just Ask Joey podcast. This is your host, Joey. This is the only place on the internet where you will find a former idiot answering your questions to help you either avoid idiocy or get past your idiocy. We're doing something a little different here today. While I'm recording this, I'm also recording onto uh, Periscope at the same time. So we do this three times a week. And if you guys get the hang of it, maybe we can, you know, you can see it on Periscope before you're seeing it on uh, YouTube or downloading it on iTunes. So today's question for episode 10, um, kind of getting called out for uh, maybe going a little soft on the question I answered at the very beginning for episode one, which was, what is uh, what are five lessons that every guy should learn? This was maybe a little more, uh, a little more hardcore, a little more straightforward. It was a uh, a father asking me, okay, my son is is going to turn eighteen this year, and you know we've kind of all those of us that are over, you know, that are adults and stuff, and I'm in my late thirties. Um, you kind of get uh what do you do when you when you have your kid and your kid grows up like how do you how do you give them the lessons that you learned as you grow up and and you know some people have the have the you know they want to go oh well let's just uh let them you know be who they are and blah 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 and everything but i think as parents like if you don't if you don't learn from your mistakes and you don't take your personality and you don't take your kid's personality and you don't sh- allow them the opportunity to to be taught from your shortcomings as a parent, that's kind of your job as a parent is to allow, is is to help your kids not not get caught up in their in their bullshit. And if you, as the parent, you should know them better than anybody. So the 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 parent asks, you know, my kid turns eighteen this year, my son turns eighteen this year. So what are five like really harsh lessons that you maybe you wouldn't hear um, from you know looking up on like a magazine or like a teen website or whatever, like something that's like real harsh lessons. That every every uh, every man should know, but that you, he wants his son to know early enough that he um, doesn't get caught up in kind of the bullshit that you know. Let's say I got caught up in, or, or he got up caught up in. So five harsh lessons that every adult should know, with the understanding that this is this is being told to a seventeen, almost eighteen year old who's about to become an adult, about to become a man, and and you know what are what are things that that that. I've learned and what are things that, that his dad's learned that can help him not be idiots like we were, I guess. So number five, um, the relationships that you are in are the ones that you have created, whatever they are, your relationship at work, your relationship with your girlfriend, your relationship with your boyfriend, your relationship with your wife, husband, parents, whatever that relationship is, it's the, it's the relationship that you've created. It's the relationship that you have allowed like you don't get treated a way that you don't allow yourself to be treated i hope that makes sense when you when you get into a new relationship let's say you meet a new and this is for a guy this is why i'm saying this so if you get in a relationship and you and you meet that new girl well there you kind of establish what the relationship is going to be like as you are developing that relationship so however you want to be treated that's kind of how you have to set things up and granted there's an ebb and flow there's a give and take with relationships but but you want to allow that person to to uh adapt to kind of your needs you don't want to set it up where you're being fake and you say hey let's let's uh you know i'm going to be totally different over here because i think she likes this or i think he likes this and then it turns out that that's not what you like and then you haven't really given who you know given the perception of who you are you're you don't want to be walked over you don't want to be taken advantage of and those are all things that if you find yourselves in those situations chances are that you have found yourselves in those situations kind of over and over again and uh that's you so whatever if you're in a shit relationship that's because you allowed yourself to be in a shit relationship and you can change it now you can change the person but you need to make sure that you change you also to give yourself an opportunity to be in the relationship that you want to be in so number five every relationship you're in whatever it is you've allowed it to be that way So you need to look at yourself if you want it to change. Uh, Number four, and this is not necessarily for an 18-year-old unless you're, you know, some 18-year-olds have kids. Um, 
Your kids only grow up once. So when you have kids, um, they see everything that you do, whether they acknowledge it or not. And they pay attention to everything you do, whether they acknowledge it or not. And that's guiding them and teaching them how to be an adult. And if you don't give them the proper, if you're not a, if you're not a, a person to look up to, then they're not going to have the person that they should be looking up to, to look up to. So think about that. Like the one person or the two couple people in their lives where they, that they, that should be the ideal of, of who they are and how to act, how to treat people, how to work, how to study, how to learn, how to be a good person, you know, what makes a bad person. Like those are all things that they should learn from you as their parent. And if you're not giving them that example and showing them, not just telling them, because telling them doesn't mean anything. They watch more than they listen. You know, I mean, remember when you were a kid, you, you know, parents, oh, do this, do that, oh, yeah, whatever, whatever. But really, but how you're really learning is you're watching and you're taking it in. And whether you even, whether you know it or whether you acknowledge it, you're taking it in. So you have to um, think about that when you're raising your kids, that, that you are their world. And if you mess up, you have got a lot of undoing that you have to do later on. Um, so number four, your kids only grow up one time. You only get one shot to be a parent, to be the right parent. Because you can, there's a lot of lot of ground that you can that you can try to make up later on, but it's a hell of a lot harder to do it the second time around than just doing it right the first time. Uh, number three, this is a little more dramatic, is uh, stop looking at porn. Is it readily available? Yes. Is it easily accessible? Yes. Is it commonplace? Yes. But if you're sitting there whole time, spending your whole time looking at porn and stuff, you're not paying attention to the person that you're with the man or woman that you're with, whatever. There's porn for everything. So no matter what you're into, they have porn for it. Um, but stop looking at porn because even if you even if you don't, let's say you don't cheat, but you're looking at porn, you're thinking about somebody else and that's not healthy for the relationship that you're in. And your your expectations change because they do different shit on porn than they do in, in, real, like, in like real life and things are different and, and, and it's, like a, it's like a fantasy, freaky fantasy kind of a world sort of a thing. And you don't, you, you're, you're, you're sending off signals in your brain that things are supposed to be a certain way and that's really not the way they are. And with the accessibility of it and the, uh, the uh, extreme versions of it and the secrecy of it, because how many people walk around talking about the porn they watched the night before or whatever? Probably not very many. So what that means is it's almost like you're, you're, you're allowing yourself to get into like a culture of secrecy. Like you have this secret where you only do it when nobody's watching and stuff. You're not walking around on your phone talking about the porn you watched or whatever. It's like so it's like it's like it, it sets kind of sets the stage up for secrets and for darkness and for for um uh lifestyles that are that are not the one you're living. It stands for like like a, like an alternate. Like think of your life as like almost like an alternate universe. You have there's you all day and then there's the you that watches black cheerleaders and and doing crazy shit with each other or whatever i mean there's like there's there's it's 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 a it's almost like it's a think of it like a slippery slope so stop watching porn okay so there's three things so far that you're probably not going to hear everywhere uh one whatever relationship you're in however that relationship is is your fault you allow people to treat you the way that you're being treated two or four i'm going backwards so five was the relationship things four was uh you have to be a good parent right away and even if you're not ready for it you gotta you gotta get in there because your kids were watching you and watching everything you do three stop looking at porn it's not good for your brain it's not good for your relationships it's not good for anything it leads to uh, uh secrets in your life and nobody needs that number two your health is extremely important i know you like drinking beer i know you like eating man food or whatever but you can't be the best you possible um at any age if you treat your body like like crap so take care of yourself eat healthy think about the long term think about think about again think about your kids like you want to be around for your kids you want to be healthy enough to play around with them and at any age i mean even if you if you have kids young or have kids old you want to be around at any age for them to be to be the kind of father that they deserve to have 
And if you're not treating yourself well, if you're drinking too much, if you're eating like crap, that's you're going to limit yourself on the, on on what you're going to be able to do in life. But you're going to limit yourself on on how, you, how what kind of a father you're going to be, what kind of a husband you could be, what kind of a grandfather you could be. So take care of yourself because uh, time is kind of all we all we have. And if you don't if you don't respect the time that you have, you you'll end up with less of it. Um, and number one. Um, think of all the the different places that you're going to find yourself in and, and what you need to be as a man is you want to be the type of person that you would want to work for and the type of person that you would want to live with and the type of person that you would want to live for the type of person that you would want to learn from the type of person that you would look up to. You want to be the example and the type of person that you want your daughter to end up with. And if you aren't those things, that means you are not being who you should be. Because if you want these things for these other people and you would want to work for this guy that acts like this and does these things, but you don't do those things, that's a good place to start. If you want to, you know, you want to be the example for, for, uh, for your daughter, for, who to look for like in a mate when they get older and you give them a crappy, you know, kind of litmus test for who to look for and what's, what, what being a man is like, um, that's where you need to change. So really look at who you are. Would you want to work for you? Would you want to work with you? Would you want to live with you? Would you, I mean, all these things like take your characteristics and these are all hard lessons. I mean, it's hard to go, Okay, looking at porn is a problem. It's hard going, okay, I'm not being a good dad. It's hard going, okay, I don't treat my body right and it's going to come back and bite me in the ass later. It, it's hard going, okay, I'm in a kind of a shitty relationship and I have a bad relationship with friends or my kids or my parents or my aunts or my uncles or whatever and hard to look at it and go, okay, that's my fault. And and that's why this is called like, <laughs> this, is, this is called like the harsh lessons. So relationships your kids, the person you are, these are all things that you really need to think about. You really need to decide who you want to be. And once you decide who you want to be, you need to look and go, am I that person? So hope this helps. If you have any other questions, um, find me on Snapchat, find me on Twitter, find me on Periscope. If you are doing the Twitter thing anyways, um, Hope these questions are helping. I'm loving going back and forth with you guys um, on Snapchat and and uh, getting a chance to like really kind of go a little deeper in some of these questions. And hope you guys have a good week. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Go. <laughs>